President Trump tried to urge the FBI director to drop an investigation. That is the big question in Washington tonight after a February memo written by the former director, James Comey, has now come to light. And in it, Comey writes, the president asked him to drop a probe into former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. The White House says it's absolutely not true. Blaine Alexander is at the White House tonight with more. Blaine. Well, Devin, the White House says that President Trump has never asked Comey or anyone else to end an investigation, and today the president himself pushed back. <laughs> president Trump offering some career advice to the Coast Guard Academy's class of 2017. Over the course of your life, you will find that things are not always fair. Thoughts from a commander-in-chief under fire. Look at the way I've been treated lately. You can't let them get you down. A cheering crowd of cadets, a stark contrast to the scene back in Washington. Facts. We need facts. Capitol Hill in an uproar over reports that President Trump asked FBI Director James Comey back in February to stop an investigation into Michael Flynn, fired for lying about his ties to Russia. And there's clearly a lot of po politics being played. Our job is to get the facts and to be sober about doing that. Speaker Paul Ryan still backing the president, but elsewhere, signs of wavering GOP support. Lisa Murkowski becoming the first Republican senator to consider a special prosecutor. GOP uh, Congressman Adam Kinzinger now expressing his doubts. But I do think we need a fresh set of independent eyes to figure out what happened. Democrats working to get Comey's testimony on the record. I have a high level of expect, high expectation that he will appear President Trump today sounding defiant. You have to put your head down and fight, fight, fight. A message to graduates and the president's own critics. And today, House Oversight Committee Chair Jason Chaffetz tweeted that he wants Comey to testify at a hearing next Wednesday. At the White House, Blaine Alexander, Local 4.